Please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Carlsbad, and welcome back from break. We're going to have a great show for you today. We're going to have Brooke on Magic Window and Jackson on the Digero. What else are we going to have? That's right. We're also going to have Bree live with boys basketball and Luke live with spike ball. Awesome. Let's get it started. I'm Scarlett Walker. And I'm Colton Gailey. And CHS TV starts right now. Welcome back. To start off the show, we're going to have a story on Jake, a senior who has a passion for water polo. Uh, I've been playing for seven years now, and getting into it is a funny story. My, uh, we, when we first moved up here um, in sixth grade, my mom pretty much just dropped me off at the pool and was like, you're going to play water polo. And thanks to his mom, Jake has formed lifelong connections with the pool and his team. Really, we're all there for each other in and out of the water. Uh, we all hang out a lot outside of the pool, and really that connection has come from the countless hours we spent in the pool together. But these hours of hard work have taken a toll on Jake as he continues to persevere through an injury he suffered last season. So last year was my left shoulder, and then I was able I had surgery uh, with like a seven month long recovery, um, and I was able to come back this year to play. And in our on senior night in our game against Vista, uh, I. I don't think I tore my right shoulder, but it's definitely injured. And with his team by his side, it's making recovery easier by the day. <laughs> They've all made me a card and a, like a goodie bag to wish me a, a, a quick recovery. Um, and they really, just being around them at Aquatics every day, even after my injury, just they kept me motivated and wanting to come back to water polo. And this motivation is what's pushing Jake towards his goals for the future. I'm hoping I'm able to finish out my senior season uh, through CIF and Leave my, leave my legacy. For CHS TV with Tosh Carr, I'm Sinead Estrada. Thank you for that piece. Come support the boys JV and varsity basketball teams tonight in the Lancer Arena. JV at 5.30 and varsity at 7. Our CHS Theater is holding auditions for their spring musical, Catch Me If You Can. Auditions will be held from January 8th to the 11th. Visit room 5002 for more details. Now we have Bree live in the studio with JV boys basketball. Bree. Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here with JV Boys Basketball. So how's your season been going so far? Yeah, it's been going good. We're 14-2 and two right now. Yeah, that sounds great. And then what are your goals for the rest of the season? Yeah, we're just going to keep on stacking days, try and win league. Yeah, and then you guys have a game tonight. So can you tell me when and where that is? It's at home at 530 against Francis Parker. Make sure to show up, Carlsbad. And then uh, what are your goals for tonight's game and how can people come support? Yeah, we're going to try and win, obviously. And... Just come home with the victory. Sounds great. And then any shout outs? Period two, Coach Coop. Uh, period four, Ogden. Sounds good. Make sure to come and support Carlsbad. Thanks, Bree. Finals week is right around the corner. Prepare now by com completing assignments and checking in with teachers if you need assistance. Finals are January 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Jewish Student Union meets in room 6203 every other Thursday at lunch. Come by this Thursday. Text the graphic on the screen for more info. To take a break from the announcements, we have Luke live in the studio with Spike Ball. Luke? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm coming live here with some members of ASB to talk about the upcoming Spike Ball tournament. So, Danny, what is this Spike Ball tournament and what's it all about? Yeah, so it's going to be held during lunch next week, Tuesday to Thursday, and it's held at the stadium, so make sure to come out and support everyone. Yeah, and Nate, where can people sign up for this? Yeah, so you can sign up uh, in the ASB room, but just make sure to get in there before Friday because that's a deadline. Sounds great. And lastly, any shout outs? Uh, Mo and Mr. A, period one. RC, Mr. A, period one, Mr. Trussell, period two. All right, make sure to sign up if interested, Carl's, but I'm not going to send back to the anchors at the desk. Thanks, Luke, and make sure to check out Spike Ball. Attention all students, January 2nd through the 26th is a great kindness challenge. Be sure to spend the week being kind to others. Visit 
thegreatkindnesschallenge.com for more info. CHS Study Hall is available after school every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday in the library's biography room. This is a great place for you to study with peers, connect with a student tutor, and get academic support. Switching topics, we now have Reese live with Girls Across. Reese, what do you have for us? What's up, Carlsbad? I'm live here in the studio with Girls Lacrosse to talk a little bit about their upcoming season. So I heard there's tryouts coming out. Uh, when and where are those? Yeah, so those are on February 10th at the Carlsbad Stadium. Thank you. And uh, when and where are the clinics? The clinics are January 21st, 27th, and February 3rd at the stadium. Nice. And uh, how are you guys preparing for this season? Yeah, so we've been preparing for a lot of off-season training and a lot of wall ball. Nice. And any shout-outs? Period 2, AP Psych, period... Three apes and parabola period one. Hendrix period two. Thank you guys for coming out and I will send it back to Colton Gilly. Thanks, Reese. Teachers, would you like to submit an announcement? If you if you would, please go to chsdv.com slash announcements. Students, would you like to promote your new or existing club or get an announcement on air? Please come by room fifty one oh five before school or at brunch and see Miss Cone. Now we have Jackson live via DeGero talking about the upcoming King Tides. Jackson? Now, what sun, earth, and moon come, come into a closer alignment than usual and can bring the shor shor shoreline up an additional seven feet, as well as bra wave braves in up to seven feet and above. Now, we're just coming out of a high surf advisory as well as some wind, as you can see here. Um, so if you are an experienced surfer and you want to surf these waves, I want you to be knowledgeable of the rip currents that are coming, as well as having someone watching your back at all times. These tides create very hazardous environments. For example, in years past, the Tamarack parking lot has been completely flooded with the increased shoreline as well as waves on top of that. Definitely be sure to come down here and check it out. It's a cool phenomenon that only happens a couple times a year. Uh, and with that, I'll send it back to Scarlett. Thanks, Jackson. Now to close off the show, we have Brooke on the Magic Window. What's up, Brooke? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Brooke Peterson here live on the Magic Window to give you guys some insight on some upcoming weather changes we're going to be seeing here the next couple of weeks. So to start off, we are going to be seeing some increased wind speeds um, this upcoming week with about 60 mile per hour winds near the coast and um, about 40 mile per hour winds um, more inland. On top of that, we're also going to see some heavier rainfall and more um, recent rainfall. So uh, we're, there's about a 30 to 50 percent chance of rain um, this upcoming week on Wednesday and Thursday. And this increased rainfall means more snow in the mountains. So this week and next week, we are going to be seeing some increased snowfall with about two to four inches of snowfall, um, depending on your elevation. And this increased snowfall makes for great conditions for skiing and snowboarding in places like Big Bear and Tahoe. So if you guys are interested in doing any of those activities, make sure to plan accordingly. Um, this week and next week would be great times to do that. Um, that's all I have for you today at Carlsbad, and make sure to stay warm. Thanks, Brooke, for that info. To close out our show, we have a sneak peek at tomorrow's story highlighting Ella, a Lancer who plays soccer here at CHS, and we can see her passion for the sport and how she overcomes challenges every single day. It's definitely hard at times to stay motivated and juggle both soccer and school, um, but I feel like the reward of being able to play and win games and play with your teammates um, is really benefiting. Thanks for that piece. What did you do for your break, Colton? Uh, I stayed local, just went to the beach a lot. Same. You? I just hung out with my family and went on a little trip. Fun. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh my